right now we're flying over one of three potential routes Pemina Pipeline Corp. could use to transport propane to a proposed export terminal at the Port of Portland's Terminal 6. The company maintains its facility poses no real risk to the community, but it has yet to address rail safety in any detail. And that's one of the main concerns of residents who live along the supply routes the company could be using. The black line at the center of the picture is railroad tracks that run along I-84. The orange overlay is a mile-wide evacuation zone required by regulators in case of an accident and propane spill. Notice that the orange overlay includes densely populated neighborhoods, as well as locations like the Lloyd Center, the Moda Center, and most of downtown Portland. In fact, more than one in four residents of Clark and Multnomah counties live within one of these evacuation zones. The U.S. Department of Transportation predicts trains carrying crude oil and ethanol will derail 10 times a year over the next two decades, potentially causing billions of dollars in damages and killing hundreds of people depending on where those derailments take place. Pressurized tank cars used to transport propane are safer than many of the cars being used today to transport oil, but they're hardly immune to derailments and rupture, and propane is a highly flammable and explosive substance. We're starting the fly over the second possible route. It too follows I-84 until it reaches I-205, then dodges north along Northeast Columbia Boulevard and North Lombard. Notice this route also passes through densely populated north and northeast Portland neighborhoods like Cully, Kenton, and Cathedral Park. Pemina's plans call for the terminal to receive one mile-long train full of propane every other day. That's 100 tank cars back-to-back, 3.2 million gallons of propane per train. All in, it's about 200 times the amount of propane that Pemina shipped to Portland last year. Train derailments are not unusual in Oregon. Over the last decade, they've happened twice a month on average. Propane spills on the rails aren't unusual either, though they typically involve small amounts spilled in rail yards. Here's the third potential route into the port's Terminal 6. It goes down the Washington side of the Columbia River, through Vancouver, then over the railroad bridge west of Interstate 5. Propane has been traveling through Oregon for decades. Pemina's history shows no major mishaps, but recent oil train disasters illustrate, and experts confirm, when you dramatically increase the volume of shipments, you're increasing the risk of an accident.